Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Hero Arts. In today's video, we are going to create this gatefold card using the May 2021 My Monthly Hero Kit. This is a great way to use that large coral image and create this layered scene. Plus, I'm going to share with you how to use partial die cutting to create this custom card base. Let's start by stamping some images from the stamp set included in the kit. I have that large coral image as well as a couple fish. And I'm going to stamp them just onto Dove White cardstock in intensified black ink. This is a Copic friendly ink. After I stamped them, and I did stamp the coral a second time over there on the right, I'm going to start Copic coloring them. Now I'm going to Copic color these pretty simple. I'm not going to use more than three colors for each kind of section or each grouping of colors. For, so for this green coral here, I have a light, medium, and dark. I always start with my light, then add a shadow with my medium, then my dark, and then I go kind of back through my medium and my light to kind of blend out that kind of shadow or that, that gradation. And now I'm working on a neck, another section of coral. This is obviously red. Started with uh, R22, now I'm on my medium, which is R17, and then my dark is R27. And now that I've finished that dark, I'm going back through my medium and light to kind of blend it out. I'm going through this relatively quickly because the main focus of today's card is creating that gatefold base. But I did want to kind of show you how I cope with color. I do it pretty simply. I'm not, I'm not the world's best Copic color, but I, I hope that it gives you some confidence to try it out on your own. So I started with my light uh, kind of blue green color. Now I'm going on to a medium shade and that's it for that kind of section of coral. Now I'm going to move on to coloring the shell. Now this is going to look I think kind of uh, complicated but uh, in the end, re end result but it's actually really easy. So I colored the whole thing with my light. Now I'm kind of coloring these strips with my medium and now I'm adding my dark shade kind of adding right into the middle of the strips and right at the base of the shell and then then, then I just simply go back over with my light and my medium just to kind of blend those areas out. And I think it creates a really cool looking, really kind of realistic uh, shell. Now onto this sea anemone, <laughs> starting with my light purple, just going to color some of those kind of feelers or tentacles with that, then my medium at the base, and then my darkest at the base as well. And I did actually get these purples kind of out of order. <laughs> I started with my dark and then kind of blended it out with my medium. So again, it, this is, it is kind of forgiving. So now moving on to this cute little starfish, starting with my light pink and then adding my medium just kind of to the kind of the sides of the arms of the starfish and then finally my darkest shade. And that those colors were pretty close. I didn't even need to blend them out. Sometimes when it's really small or the colors are not a big jump, you don't even have to bother blending it out. Now here I'm working on kind of the I guess it's kind of a rock and I'm doing it kind of sand color, some tans. And now we're moving on to this fish here. Super easy, only two colors. Started with a yellow and then moved on to kind of an orange yellow just to add a little shell a shadow at the belly. Now for my clownfish, I'm going to start with that orange yellow color all of kind of, well, not the stripes even though I did color one of the stripes here and I'll show you how I'll fix that mistake later. And then just went through my medium and my dark. Now for that stripe, I just grabbed a white gel pen and went over that area that I Copic colored and that kind of made that white again. And then I'm going to finish kind of the tips of his fins with a gray. And that will actually pretty much complete my Copic coloring. So I went ahead and colored the other section of coral with the same kind of colors but just in different places. And now I'm ready to uh, die cut them out with my matching dies, which I did. And now we're going to do kind of the crazy part, which is color in all the white area. So that kind of border around the colored images, we're going to color that with this Copic marker that's going to actually match the colored cardstock that I'm going to mount these on. And this is just going to create a really seamless look. And it's also important to kind of color the sides, which you just saw me doing the, you know, not just color the white border, also kind of run your marker along the edge to kind of get all that white covered. So here's the colored cardstock I'm going to use for my card base. As you can see, it is a nice dark color like that Copic marker we used. And I'm going to start by partial die cutting this to create our first kind of flap of our gatefold card. So I'm starting out with one of my A2 side folding card bases. Again, A2 side is 
five and a half by eight and a half and then scored at four and a quarter which I've already scored once I have my dime place I used a piece of tape to hold it there and I'm gonna place this is important I place my top plate only about like halfway over the die and that is going to make sure that I only cut what that top plate is over so everything that's uncovered with the die will or uncovered with the top plate will not be die cut and that's just going to give me a little bit more cardstock to kind of cover the inside of the card. Now I'm not concerned about totally covering the inside. I'll leave a little bit exposed. I kind of like that more layered look of that, but you can make sure you completely cover the inside if you choose. So I just trimmed off the excess with my uh, X-Acto knife, kind of just continued the visual line down and cut it. And now I'm going to basically repeat this process for my second A2 side folding card base. So I'm going to position my die here and I want to make sure that you can see that I'm now die cutting on the left half of my uh, side folding card base and I'm going to place my top plate only on the leftmost part of that die and just get that last that last bit of that die cut and then I'll take my exacto knife and my ruler and just kind of extend the the line um, all the way up to the top now you could have cut um, I kind of cut a fair amount of this um, this this image but you could cut less and and again like I was saying before cover more of the inside of your card base if you choose but I wasn't so concerned about making sure my inside was completely covered with my two gate um, folds I wasn't really concerned about that so now I'm going to before I kind of put my two pieces together I'm going to stamp my sentiment I find it a little bit easier to do now when I have a nice straight edge still so I popped it here in my misty stamped it in intensified black ink and now I'm kind of ready to put everything together I'm going to start by adding some liquid glue to the uncut side of one of those card bases and just stick them together and that makes basically my card base and now I'm ready to adhere all of my Copic colored images on top I'm starting with my coral and lining up my coral image with that die cut partially die cut flap and then I'll grab my scissors and cut off any of the uh, overhang and now that I have that piece done I'm just going to repeat it for the top flap again adding liquid glue and then I'll just line it up or match it up with the die cut uh, partially die cut image and I just have a tiny bit of overhang here, so I'll cut, flip that over again and cut that off, trim that excess off. And we have kind of our, our layered scene pretty much done there. So now we get to kind of just finish it up with, um, I did create a front sentiment that I stamped in embossing watermark ink, poured on some white embossing powder, and I did stamp it onto pitch black cardstock and fussy cut that out, just adhered that to my front flap, then I'll adhere this cute little fish down here. And I just love how this whole like scene is starting to grow. Then I'll completely finish the card by adhering my little clownfish on the inside just for another little fun detail on the inside. And that actually completes my card. I'll hold it up to the camera here so you can get a good look at this fun scene. So you can see here how that scene, just those two flaps kind of overlap and extend that coral at a nice diagonal across the front of the card. And then we open one flap and you still see more of the coral. I just think it's a really pretty and kind of fun reveal. And then of course, our sentiment and that cute little clownfish on the inside. This is just such a fun way to use large images and large dies and kind of make a card base from them, a custom card base. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you have any questions about the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.